In this Vice Pro Presenter tutorial, we're going to look at how we can set up and configure different stage display screens. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to configure screens. I'm just going to make sure I've got my stage display set up. So if you don't have that set up, you need to add it. If you're not sure, go and look at the fast tutorial on adding a new screen. Now, I'm going to come down here and I've already got some stage displays set up here. These come with ProPresenter if you've downloaded and installed the sample content. But to edit them, if I come up here to my edit bar, hit stage editor, it takes me to the stage display options. Now I have a fair few in here and a couple I've created. If I wanted to create a new one or change one, I just come in here and I can change it as I would a normal slide, or I can go new blank layout and start adding things. So there's lots of options in here. I could add, say the text off my current slide over here. I could add the text off my next slide over here. I could have um, a group. I could have my timers. I could have my shapes. I can have my text. I can have my clock. So I might add the timing down here. I want to have my timers as well. And so I might want my MC spot timer here. And I might want my countdown clock over here. And you can see it's really easy to add to your stage display. Once you've created your stage display as you want, I'd firstly recommend renaming it to something like, I'm just gonna call mine custom stage display. And then to make that the default stage display. So if I go here, that's currently my stage display. If I go to screens, stage screen, and then I need to choose which one I want. So the one I've just made here, custom stage display. And now it's showing that custom stage display we just made. So make sure you can figure your screen, edit your stage display so you've got a design you like, and then set it by going screens, stage screen, and then choosing which one you want it to show as. Thanks for watching this fast ProResenter 7 tutorial. Don't forget that if you found this confusing or you'd like more information, our longer tutorials can be found on our YouTube channel.